Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is going to be a little weird and different for my channel because in today's video I'm going to show you all the random things that I like to buy on Amazon. This is a video that has been going around on YouTube. I've seen a lot of people make it and it's really interesting because as you know Amazon is such a huge warehouse of things that they carry everything and when you need something just like out of the ordinary that you can't get anywhere else you go to Amazon. And also because my hair and makeup are different, I probably don't even look like me today, but I needed to record a bunch of videos today because I'm trying to get away on vacation for a week. This is from a video that may or may not even be up already. I'm not sure what order I'm gonna put these up, but I'm trying all new makeup on my face today. And I actually kind of like the makeup look, but it is a lot, I know. You guys are gonna be like, what, who is that? That doesn't look like our Ange. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's start in beauty, you guys will recognize a few of these things. One of my new faves from the last, oh, I don't know, I'd say maybe six months or so, is this Lash and Brow gel called Babe Lash. I love this guy, especially for the eyebrows. Now, I do have brow product in, actually, <laughs> Two different ones. Can you tell that they're different? Um, because, you know, that was part of the new makeup for the other video, but my brows have grown in so amazingly using this. I've used three other lash and brow growth products, and they all seem to work better on my lashes. This one, I'm not really loving it so much for the lashes, but I love it for the brows. It has made my brows grow in like crazy, and I never wear brow makeup now because of the Babe Lash. So I love Babe Lash, so that'll be in my Amazon shop. Shop. everything I'm going to show you today will be in my Amazon shop you just click the one link below the video to go over there and you can see all of these things plus everything else that's in there which are all kind of my fave products number two I get my two little blue bottles on Amazon that I separate my vitamin C serum into two bottles and then store one in the fridge and one in my cabinet to help the vitamin C serum last longer because all L ascorbic acid based vitamin C serums will oxidize over time as you use it opening and closing every day as it's exposed to light and air so when I get a brand new bottle of vitamin C serum that's a one ouncer I divide it up into to these two half ounce bottles. So I pour half of it into the one with just the plain lid and then I stick that one in the fridge and then I pour the other half into this bottle which has the dropper and then I keep this one in my medicine chest and this is one that I use every day. And some people are just like, well why can't I just leave it in the one ounce bottle? Can I just use an old one ounce bottle? And the problem is that if you have a half ounce in a one ounce bottle, the whole surface is exposed to air inside the bottle and what you want to have inside the bottle is as little air as possible so splitting it into two smaller bottles it's full and so it's not exposed to air anywhere in there so i highly recommend the two smaller bottles if you want to start separating yours into two bottles the next thing is something that i use every single night and i swear it has turned back the hands of time on my face and that is my sleeping wedge you guys familiar with my sleeping wedge so this is like a big foam wedge pillow I had started developing, you know, the chest wrinkles when I got up in the morning because I was a side sleeper. I would have permanently, well not permanently, but I like etched in Y of wrinkles on my chest. I started looking into it and seeing what you could do and the simplest and freest solution was to start sleeping on your back. So I immediately was like, all right, fine, I'm sleeping on my back. And the thing that clinched it was I was at my dermatologist one time and she could tell which side of my face I sleep on when I was a side sleeper. It took me three to six months to, to actually learn to do it, but this wedge was part of being able to do it. I found that having my head elevated on the wedge, I didn't wasn't tempted to turn over so much. So I have the 10 inch wedge here and it comes with this nice washable bamboo cover. So the wedge basically lives in my my bed and I stack two pillows up on top of it and I find that it has really helped with my the hoods of my eyes I mean there's lots of different factors involved in them the retin-a and you know maybe the babe lash and this and that and the other thing but uh, you know if you want to try something free to see if it works start sleeping on your back with your head elevated head elevated will also help with your under eye area because 
fluids like blood and stuff pools under your eyes during the night and I have very very little puffiness especially for my age. Are you guys familiar with my face fur trimmer? This is the Finishing Touch Flawless. There are a couple versions of this. There's a battery powered one. I got the rechargeable one. And this is a great little device. It's just like a one head shaver like a rotary shaver like a man would have. It's not an epilator. It doesn't rip your hairs out. It just shaves your face and it does it so easily and it's amazing like I just do it around in circles like this. I can't do it today because I have makeup on and I'm testing this makeup, but when I shave my face, it's so easy. And then I'm amazed like when I open it up, how much fur is in there. So look at that. See all that stuff in there? That is all my face fur. I think I'm going to start collecting this and make a little pillow out of my face fur. That's not creepy. <laughs> So you can get this on Amazon, but the other thing to get on Amazon is the replacement blades for this because these do get dull and you need to replace them, but they're really inexpensive on Amazon. So basically this just twists off and when you twist it off, this is the replacement blade. So they sell two packs of these on Amazon and I'll link those in my shop as well. I get one of the supplements that I take off of Amazon as well. It is my phytoceramides and this is like a ceramide that you can take that works from the inside to help moisturize your skin. So the one I get is from Sports Research. It's the Lipo Wheat phytoceramides and I love this one. So I take these every day and I feel like they really help to um, moisturize my skin, hydrate my skin from the inside out. Ceramides are naturally occurring like lipids or fats in your skin, but they do deplete with age and so we need to replace them. Like in the dead of winter here in New England, I can feel the difference in my skin. I used to always have that dry, itchy, you know, scaly skin all winter long and I couldn't take it. And then I started taking these and what a difference they make. Here's a product that I bought recently just to try. I'm not sure if I'm 100% recommending it, but it is a gel that you can use with your new face. You guys know that I love my new face and I had run out of my favorite gel, which is the new face gel primer or primer gel. I love that stuff. I actually just bought a huge vial of it off of uh, Sephora, so I had that. But in the meantime, I was trying other gels. So it's called Spectra 360 Electro Gel. It was like $11 for three of these, right? These are huge. When I saw the picture, I thought they were each gonna be this big. They're ginormous and it's just super thick. It has a slightly blue tinge to it, but it's a little thicker than I like, but it does work well with the new face. If you were looking for a really inexpensive gel, you could give this one a try and you will have a lifetime supply of this stuff. Okay, so here's a funny thing that I bought on Amazon. <laughs> I bought these little sun protective gloves because you guys know I put my sunscreen on the backs of my hands every day, but then sometimes I forget to retop it up and I hop in my car to drive somewhere and I'm like, oh my God, my hands are getting all that aging rays all over them as I'm driving. And so I keep these little gloves in my car. I can only put them on when I'm alone. Like if my kids are in the car with me and I put these on, they're like, mom, what are, what is wrong with you? What are you doing? I'm like protecting my skin from the sun. They're like, oh my God, the sun is not that bad for you, mom. I'm like, no, it really is. So anyway, can't wear them when I'm in the car with my kids. But when I'm in the car alone, which is 99.9% .9 of the time, and I have forgotten to top of my sunscreen, I put on my little driving gloves here. They have uh, rubberized like gripper things on the palms. They only go to here. So, oh, my poor finger ends are getting sun on them, but they're usually wrapped around the wheel. And it's really this part that I'm more concerned about. I know you guys don't make too much fun of me and my obsession with sun. And another weird thing that I get are these little locking magnetic necklace clasps. They come in both silver and gold color. I'm not sure what metal these ones are made out of because I was looking for ones that weren't nickel or that weren't or that were like gold plated or something because my neck developed kind of a cheap metal allergy and so I can only wear like more expensive metals on my neck otherwise it gets red and rashy like when isn't my neck red and rashy right? But anyway so I think that these don't bother me so these ended up being good. So this is the magnet and it just comes apart and sticks back together. So I have these on all my necklaces because you know when you get older you can't work those tiny clasps anymore. I mean the things we have to deal with it's ridiculous. So I have them on all my necklaces like I have them on this one right now and they're so easy to get on and off it finds itself so you don't have to be fumbling around and your necklaces then go on and off 
so easily. They come like four or five to a set. I get both the silver and gold, so that gives me like eight or ten of them. I do up all my necklaces, and then they're so easy to clasp. So um, let's see, what else? I came down with plantar fasciitis. I don't know if you guys are all familiar this, with this, but I went to a foot doctor who, of course, wanted to do those terribly painful cortisone injections, and I was kind of afraid of them. I was like, yeah, maybe not. I did pay for the $250 custom insoles for my shoes and then proceeded to lose one of them when I was trying on shoes at a, you know, a shoe store. I left my insole in the shoe. Well, since then, I have found products that like cure my plantar fasciitis and keep it away like you wouldn't believe. And I know you're going to be like, hi, huh, you can cure plantar fasciitis on Amazon. Oh, yep, you sure can. So when I lost that insole, I wasn't going back to pay another $250 for another. So I started looking for insoles online. And I ended up picking up this pair of insoles that are made by OrthoHeal. And these are the best insoles. I can't even tell you how these have saved my feet. Like when you have plantar fasciitis, it's so painful to walk just to do anything. But having these insoles really keeps it away. And so I put these in all my shoes. I have four or five pairs of these. I have a pair that lives in my sneakers, one that lives in my favorite boots, and they keep your arch supported so well. So those are kind of the keeping it away step. And then to get rid of it, I have a sleeping boot. I wear this to sleep in and again kind of hard to get used to but definitely worth the effort because within two weeks I could feel my plantar fasciitis going away and then I probably wore it for about a month until it was gone completely then I put in the insoles and I wear them religiously no more plantar fasciitis. Let me just tell you a little story. This past winter, I went to Florida to visit my parents, and I get down there, and my dad is limping. And I'm like, Dad, what's the matter? You know, he's like, oh, the plantar fasciitis, it's back. I can't get rid of it. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to order you the sleeping boot. So I go on Amazon. I find my sleeping boot. I order it along with a pair of insoles with the Prime. I have it delivered to the Florida condo where it arrives the day that I'm leaving, so I don't realize that he's gotten it. I get a text from him a week after I left, and he's like, that sleeping boot, it's amazing. <laughs> so I call him up, I'm like, oh, you got it, you used it? He's like, yes, and my plantar fasciitis is gone. He's like, I'm walking like a normal person again. And I was even surprised that he put it on. I'm surprised he wasn't like, oh, my baby girl, that's so sweet, but I'm not using it. That he actually used it and it worked, and he called me up and was like, it worked. Like, I know this thing works, so if you have plantar fasciitis, try my sleeping, I'm calling it my sleeping boot. This is also washable, it's got like a metal core in here, but this whole thing velcros off, you pull the metal thing out, then you can throw this part in the washing machine, so, you know, it gets a little stinky from your toes, but you can wash it, it's great. Um, was there anything else? Oh yeah, one last thing, there's a clothing boutique that I like called Patty Boutique, and I got like this top and a couple of other cute tops off of it. They just have really nicely made clothes at good prices. So um, this is one of my favorites. It's just a racerback top with a v-neck in the front and then it just has a crossover down here and a little elastic waist. It is the cutest top. The other fashion-y thing that I get on Amazon are like knockoff purses. You know, I love designer handbags but I'm not really willing to part with that much money over a handbag. So like I'm in love with Chloe designs and I already have a real one real Chloe bag but I feel like one is enough for me so whenever they, get, they come out with a new design I always look for kind of a knockoff of it and I know it's not good to get the knockoffs but what the heck so I bought this one this past year on Amazon and it looks just like the Chloe bag that I was drooling over at Bergdorf Goodman in New York last fall and it's beautiful like I love this the quality of the leather seems really good and it's just it gives the same look as the Chloe bag but for you know a thousand dollars less and I have things that I can use that thousand dollars for so this is really cute it came in a lot of different colors I just love this guy so those were all of my Amazon faves that I wanted to show you in today's video if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will know whenever I upload a video and as always everybody thank you so much for your time you know I always appreciate you taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me so thanks for that uh, so I hope you have a good one so take care everybody and I will see you in the next video bye bye